it's been an awesome gift to me. The idea of, of a national church uh, going from one coast to the other. At the time of union with the United Church, the Evangelical United Brethren Church as an entity had only been in existence since 1946. So only 20, 22 years. So the idea of, of branching out and uniting and becoming something uh, bigger for the benefit of all, it's been a humongous gift to me. That's almost impossible to put into words. My name's Jerry Hofstetter. I am a retired minister within the United Church of Canada. My home church was Roseville, uh, Grace Evangelical United Brethren Church. Roseville is a little community southwest of Kitchener. I was actually the last person licensed to preach in the EUB church in 67, prior to becoming a part of the United Church of Canada. And I've had the opportunity throughout those years to serve uh, the United Church of Canada in many, many capacities. In terms of uh, being in my teens, at the time and hearing about union talks and knowing a little bit of church history and what was happening in the States. Those of us in Canada, the Canada Conference of the EUB Church, really had three options before us, knowing that things were moving forward in the States. We could remain a part of an American church. We could try to exist on our own, which didn't really make sense when you're talking in terms of 62 congregations and 38 pastoral charges, or find a place within the Canadian culture wherein lay the Methodist roots. Voila, the United Church of Canada. So after lots of debate and discussion, that's the decision that was made. And uh, those of us who were EUB became a part of the United Church of Canada. Early January, 1968, when those of us who had been EUB uh, formerly became a part of the United Church of Canada, uh, was an extremely emotional moment for me. Keep in mind, I'm not yet 20 years of age, okay? And I'm in the presence of people to whom I've been looking up as my leaders and clergy within the EUB Church and uh, within the United Church. Uh, to be in the presence of the moderator of the United Church of Canada, my goodness, uh, that's not something as a youngster that I would have ever dreamt of being able to share. I was invited to be a part of the former processional as we made our way into Zion Church, in, into the sanctuary for the, the service of worship. And just an overwhelming sense of awe and, and for me, uh, an awareness of the presence of God and the Spirit of God in that building. It was just, just re really, really moving, a, a very, very moving experience. I, I have, frankly, I have goosebumps right now thinking about it, and that was over 50 years ago. I just felt being enveloped and being a part of something that was so much bigger than myself that I, I couldn't put it into words. I felt loved, I felt cared for, I felt embraced. Part of the fear, always, when a small group become a part of a larger group, is that you're going to be lost and, and swallowed up. Uh, that has been the furthest thing from, from my experience. And I can honestly say that throughout the years that I've been a part of the United Church of Canada, that has always been, I, I've never felt like an outsider. Never felt like an outsider or an outlier or uh, of lesser significance. My experience of the, the EUB Church is, is rural, okay? a small rural church, a reasonably small congregation of extremely committed, passionate people. Passionate about their faith, passionate about the way uh, they lived their lives. Brought that into the United Church of Canada. A strong sense of mission, a strong sense of outreach, uh, a very strong sense of the importance of Christian education. Consequently, the majority of EUB churches had, and some of them with EUB history still do, have uh, adult Christian education classes as part of Sunday school uh, on a Sunday morning to this day. As a teenager in the EUB church, uh, one of the really significant things to me 
was the uh, youth education and youth groups and conference youth. And there was always linkages all across the, the conference of the church. And that was fundamental in uh, the beginnings of my sense of call to ministry. What it meant to be a young person as a Christian, as a, as a disciple of Christ. The EUB church had a very strong sense of uh, mission. Uh, missionaries and, and uh, mission and reaching beyond and sharing the gospel beyond the bounds of the local congregation. I am enormously proud to be able to say that, that one of our EUB ministers, the Reverend Dr. Howard Brox, served at the national office with the Division of Mission in Canada for uh, a good many years and brought to the national church uh, that sense of uh, mission and, and outreach. And I like to think too uh, that wherever I've been as a part of the United Church of Canada, I've been able to share some of the excitement and passion that I feel uh, as a, a follower, uh, a disciple, within the life of the church and within, within the United Church of Canada. I couldn't have asked for anything more than what the United Church has meant to me as an individual and the opportunity to be involved in ministry as part of this uh, united and uniting church. I can't imagine what it would be like not to have been a part of the United Church of Canada.